was born in the scrub in the mama by the banks of the river Barclay. Berry Country Live in Concert is a touring stage show version of what originally came out about the year 2000. I wrote a book, wrote a film, produced a, an album called Berry Country, the story of Aboriginal country music. And um, this was a thing that just sort of grew from there, it took on a life of its own to the point where here we are now, many years later, and it's, it's going onto the stage. It's become this stage show um, and, and I'm just hanging on for the ride. Well, it's music from people who back, you know, who didn't get an opportunity to present their side of the story. I think it's good for people to learn about the Roger Knoxes and the Oriel Andrews of the world and the Vic Sims and the, you know, I think, I think it's important, an important part of history and, um, and, you know, without those songwriters, I, w I wouldn't have a lot of opportunities that I have today. So I think, I think, I think it's a really beautiful concept and there's a lot of heart to it. One of the great strengths that we have in this show, I think we've got a few, uh, is an incredible um, repertoire of songs to draw on. Um, a lot of shows might scratch around for songs, but we have an embarrassment of riches, an incredible um, reservoir of songs that are largely um, unknown by white Australia. People talk about um, classic Australian songs, Fry Down My Mind or Cattle and Cane, and, and we've got songs that I think that every bit as good at that, but never really got the opportunity to, to find an audience, and, and we hope that's what we're doing. The, the thing about those songs now is that even some of them might be 30, 40, 50 year old songs which still have, perhaps because they're only now really breaking through, um, they still have this incredible resonance. Absolutely, um, and I, I wouldn't have, you know, I, I'd feel odd singing them if I couldn't relate to them in some way, you know. If, I, if, if the lyrics were redundant, it would be a strange thing to, to sing. It's wonderful to be able to ha have that relationship with the lyrics um, this far down the track and be able to perform perform the songs. So my stepdad bought the, um, he used to, he taught me how to play guitar um, and he used to write songs and play with Peter Brandy because he, um, in Kununurra and the Kimberley and he, um, he bought the CD box set and the, um, and the book and he was just, he was just blown away, you know, he's like, oh look at this and look at these are all these mobs that I've never heard of and I, you know, just, he's a mad country fan, you know, so he, um, yeah, um, I, I grew up listening and knowing about the Berry Country story through him, which is, makes me feel even more, spe it's even more special for me to now, you know, years later, be, to be involved in it. Bringing to light these singers and these songs um, in, a, in a world where unfortunately um, probably didn't get much of a chance in the first place, you know, or, or, or as much light as, as they should have been given, you know. Um, they're such beautiful songs and um, for whatever reason, they didn't really get as much um, coverage as what, what they deserved, and I think Buried Country has, has done that in a huge way. If it's Buried Country, we are doing it. We are telling the story. And that's how it, that's how it is. Mm -hmm. 